time for the video of the day. I'm your host, Greg. Welcome. <laughs> it is the second day after Election Day. As of this morning, we're still waiting for Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia, and Nevada, and Alaska. Alaska don't answer with three votes. Um, <laughs> many of you know I used to live in Michigan. So I was watching the Michigan uh, situation very closely. I still have a lot of friends in Michigan and family. <laughs> the race in Michigan was very close. Then all of a sudden, magically, poof, Biden took off. Apparently, Biden got 15,000. That's one five with three zeros. Okay, understand that. They put him down for 153,000, which is one five three with three zeros. They gave him way more votes than he than he was supposed to have got. It's come, it's become a big to do up there. Um, I've seen videos uh, that people have recorded for Republicans being thrown out of areas because they were contesting the deal with the with the um, with the votes. And uh, no, that makes it worse, doesn't it? Anyway, I just leave it the way it is. And. Uh, it just, it just it, it brings to my attention the fact that they can't count, okay? The one thing, you know, when you, when you apply, if you're in law enforcement, you try and get into the FBI, okay, or the Secret Service, they do a serious background check, okay? If you have anything in your background, they're going to find out about it, Okay? They make sure of your, not honesty, not, well, she should say, not just honesty, but of your integrity. Now you say, well, Greg, what's the difference? Honesty is what you do up front. Integrity is what you do when nobody's looking. In other words, do you still do the right thing even though nobody's looking? That's integrity. That's what they should be looking for. And it doesn't matter if it's in Michigan doesn't matter if it's in Missouri, doesn't matter if it's in Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, New York, California, doesn't matter. Okay? Because here's what I'm seeing. Here's what I'm seeing. Holy cow. I got up this morning, it was 43 degrees, it's freezing in here. I, I got my two back windows open, and, and I turned the heat up, and holy cow, it got really hot. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking at a lot of these states, and, and the... the I was on the Associated Press's uh, site, and it showed every state, and you could touch the state, and it would pop up and show you county by county, which county was red, which county was blue. And I'm looking at some of these states, and I'm going, the majority of the state is red. How is it for Biden? I don't get it. Like, you look at Nevada, okay? There's one small piece up here in the corner that's blue. And there's a piece down here by Reno that's blue. The rest of it's red. How can it be a light blue? I, they change it to dark blue once it's been it's been picked for <coughs> for that candidate, or or it goes from pink to red if it's solid red if it's for Trump. <laughs> How? The majority of the state is is pink. It's obviously going to be red. How do you... A lot of people are saying it's these, it's these mail-in ballots. Oh, look, we found a bunch of other mail, you know, people that mailed in their ballot. This is why mail-in voting does not work. Get up off of your lazy butt, get to the polls, and vote. Okay? It's that simple, folks. It's not difficult. You put the mask on. You're six feet from everybody. Okay? They can, you can stay six feet away from, from, the, um, from the people that, that, that are there working the voting area. I forgot what you call them. What do you call those people? I 
that's going to drive me nuts the rest of the day now. <laughs> I'm in an area where my, my Wi-Fi signal sucks. So I was down I was down there last night, and I got in a spot where I had LTE one line. And I could, I could bring up a picture on Facebook, and it would take me forever. <laughs> anyway, those people can stay six feet away from you. Those people can wear a mask. You can wear a mask. Now, y'all know if you've been watching my videos, I'm against the mask wearing stuff. But you know what? That's a situation where I would wear a mask if I was going in to vote personally. Now, I vote absentee. Okay? Why do you vote absentee, Greg? You're telling us to go in personally. I'm a truck driver. I'm not home. Okay? This year just so happened I was going through town on election day. I was going through my hometown. Okay, and it's funny, I would have had time to stop. I told my wife, I said, I would have had time to stop. You could have came over, picked me up in my truck. We could have went and voted, and then you could have brought me back in my truck and got back on the road. But you know what? If we would have planned to do that, I would have been off in Timbuktu somewhere. <laughs> so I never know where I'm going to be on election day, so I made sure I voted absentee. And there's nothing wrong with voting absentee, okay? To me, the absentee votes should be counted before the regular votes. Because those people already voted, so those votes should already count. But then again, you have to know how to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you start over again. Only you do it with the one in front of it. And then you do it with the two in front of it. And then you do it with the three in front of it. And then you move out a digit. People don't know how to count. You know, they count they count like Quark on Deep Space Nine. Okay. When he's when he's when he's got the bars of gold latinum there and he's he's separating them for, for him and his brother. He says, he says, one for you, seven for me. <laughs> one for you, seven for me. And then Rom gets mad and says, That ain't fair. And Quark says, you know what? You're right. Let's start again. One for you, eight for me. Is that better? <laughs> they qu they count like quark. They they must all <laughs> they must all be Ferengis. What? <laughs> Counting is not difficult, folks. It's it's real simple. Okay, you know, first and second graders can do it. Some kindergartners can do it. I go up to see my grandson next year. I think I'm going to talk to him. One, two, I'm going to try and teach him how to count. Counting is not difficult, okay? And, and I'm horrible at math, okay? I'm horrible at math. But I can I can add, subtract, multiply, and divide all day long. It's when you start throwing letters and shit in there, it confuse me. <laughs> you know, let, let's, throw in, let's throw in a couple letters and some parentheses and some weird signs and see what he does. You know, stand there and go. But this is counting, people. This isn't rocket science, okay? This isn't algebra. This is simple math. <laughs> and people in Michigan can't count. That's why they're having all the hugabaloo up there. Okay? So, it's funny. I remember several years ago that it was Florida that was the big deal. They couldn't count. <laughs> Where do all those people in Florida come from? They come from Michigan. They got down there and learned how to count because Florida, Florida was called early. Florida was called for Trump early. As I said at the beginning, we still have Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, and Nevada that are open. Um, I've heard rumors that the Secretary of State in Michigan has, has flipped Michigan back to Trump. Um, I hope so. I hope so. Because if we don't get rid of the Democrats, we're done. We're screwed. So... Um, anyway, like, comment, share this video. Let people know that Greg the Crazy Trucker is out there and he's creating havoc wherever he goes. If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button down below. Yeah, it's still there. I see it. And then uh, hit the little bell. You'll be notified every time I, I, I post a video. I don't do them all the time. I do them at random. Sometimes I do them, I put them together, and I delete them. Because things change. Like, I already did one for this and now new information's come along so I've had to change it. Alright? So until next time, this is your host of the video of the day, 
Greg the Crazy Trucker saying, see ya!